Okay, so this is act one when I'm a little peasant girl. You know, when I found out that we were doing Giselle this season, I was, I was so excited. It's one of those ballets that you just, I don't know, as a child, I really wanted to dance it. And up here is great. It's yeah. just, just right I in here. enjoy awesome. dancing classical ballets Even where there's a story given and there's a part of you that you're trying to give to the audience. So cute. Makes me feel very young. <laughs> When I, you know, got promoted and and they announced that we were doing it, I was just so excited. <sighs> Much better. I can lift my arm, which is kind of important in ballet. <laughs> Last season was probably one of my best seasons I had ever had. Um, you know, I had been here ten years, and it took me those ten years to get there. But I, I had gotten there, and and everything was just really great. You know, then one day in April, I was rehearsing. That was a really awful day. I took a really bad step. You know, I, I heard my knee pop, and it, it was a really awful sound. I tore my ACL. So that was a really awful day. The first thing I thought of was, I want to dance Giselle. <laughs> and then the next day, I saw Dr. Favorito, and I said to him, you know, I, I want to be back to dance in October. And he was he said, that's really... Um, pushing it and I don't know if that's a possibility. I just was in tears. It was awful. I had a, my surgery on a Wednesday and we started my therapy literally the next week. I could, you know, I, I could barely walk and um, it hurt to even, you know, move my knee in any sort of direction, especially to, to do any slight bending of it. very beginning, I physically could not do any ballet steps, no, like nothing, even steps that I learned when I was two. And I couldn't grasp how weak my body was. You know, and, it's, and you think, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to get back? You know, I, I can't even get a centimeter off the ground. How am I going to get my jump back? Um, I think everybody thought that was going to change my mind. Um, even a couple weeks ago, people might have thought I was going to change my mind. But I always wanted to dance Giselle, and this was my chance, and I was just not going to let this knee get in my way. <laughs> so. Maybe with my eyes closed. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. I, I realize that I'm not the first dancer it's happened to, and I'm not the last dancer it's happened to. Everybody was so positive around me and, and just kind of pushed me forward. To bad attitude. And, you know, something kind of happens to you like this, and it really makes you realize how precious this career is. I don't know anything else. I mean, you know, it's it's a short career. I don't I don't think I'll ever take it for granted ever again. I always kind of thought that I would never be able to handle something like this because ballet has always been such a huge part of my life. hard experience but it was a it was a good experience and I feel now like I'm 
a stronger person and a stronger dancer, even though my knee is not 100%, um, I know that in the end, I'm going to be stronger than I was before. Not only physically, but mentally. And um, I think a lot smarter too. <laughs>